go. All right. Was the whole experience even more emotional than you thought it would be? I'm still going through all my texts and I still get emotional with some of the people that are, that are texting me and taking the time out of their days to, you know, send me a message. Well, speaking of messages, I know you got so many from so many people, but there was one in particular that I thought was pretty cool. We're, we're just going to play it for you. I, I'm sure you've seen it, but uh, just take a look. Hey, Patty, just want to congratulate you on an amazing milestone and accomplishment. We want to thank you for letting us, Joe. Uh, you've been a constant pro with us the whole time as well, another father figure. Um, we want to congratulate you on this awesome accomplishment and uh, have fun with your family, pal. <laughs> Had you seen that before? Yeah, they showed it in the clip before the game, so it was it was pretty good. I just uh, actually texted them thanking them for the video, so it was pretty pretty cool that they did that. Awesome. So Joe Thornton, he's, he's just 99 games behind you on on that list. I mean, what kind of a friend has he been? You know, both on and off the ice. Right from you know day one, uh, Joe's easy to get along with and. Uh, just a great guy and you know he, he attracts people to him and I was no different I was uh, just trying to take it all in and he, he definitely helped my game as well. Sure you've had so many memories going through your mind the, the last few days. One tradition that I, I know has stayed the same you jump into an ice bath at second intermission of each game seriously? It's probably a good nine to ten years that I've been doing it and you get that feeling where you're going out for the first period and you're actually going out for the third, so that's that's the reason I do it. It's always funny because uh, if guys don't know that I do that and then uh, they see me, you know, obviously hopping in the shower and then going into, like, they're kind of looking at me like, you all right? Like, everything okay? I'm like, yeah, all good. <laughs> when you think back again to when you started, do you remember what your first contract was? Yeah, I remember going to the bank the first time to cash the signing bonus and before I got the paycheck I was like, over the moon with the, all the per diem from training camp. Uh, I was able to actually go and you know buy some clothes and and treat myself to some some nice things. Well your wife Christina has been by your side through throughout your pretty much your entire career. Take us back to when did you first meet? Uh, we first met by uh, my second year in San Jose and uh, she was working uh, in the accounting, uh, the ticket side of things and, and she was telling her co-worker like uh, I see this I see this usher walking around every now and then uh, you know I think he's pretty cute and then uh, one day she she and her friend were together and I walked by and she's like hey there's there's that usher <laughs> and I because I was I was always there around the same time all the ushers were coming in so there's 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 that part of the story and and I guess her, her friend was like, you idiot, that's one of the players. And she said, she said oh, geez. First date, uh, we went to, uh, went to a movie. And then we went, and, uh, went to Johnny Rockets and had a milkshake, I think, and shared some fries or something like that. We were 18, 19 years old, so we, not, much, not too much you could do. How romantic. What a lovely start for you. Now, talking about movies, though, I hear you do a great Borat impression. Would you like to give it a try for us? I'm trying to think what I should say. Very nice. Very nice. The, the U.S. of A. That is priceless. Well, 1,768 games, uh, an incredible record. Patrick, how many more do you see in your future? How, how much longer do you want to keep doing this? Uh, I don't know for sure. Right now, uh, body feels good. I, I feel good. Um, well, well, I'll keep riding it as long as I can. Everybody who I've talked to who's retired now or who, who are, uh, are still in the game. They say play as long as you can, there's nothing else like it. And I, I truly do believe, uh, believe them when they say that there is nothing else like playing in the NHL.